Hello everyone. In our today's class, we'll begin with uh, NumPy in Python. Uh, I hope you all have revised the pre previous parts that we have completed in our last class. And just to open this uh, ideal shell from your laptop or computer or desktop and be ready with me just when I'll type and I'll uh, do all the things you also do accordingly with me. OK, students. So uh, we'll begin with NumPy. Now, first of all, what is NumPy? It is actually a uh, numerical Python. And it, NumPy is a general purpose array processing package. And it provides a very high performance multidimensional array object and tools for working with arrays. And one more thing you have to keep in mind that uh, in order to use this NumPy package, uh, we need to import uh, as import NumPy as NP in our uh, first line only. And uh, for installation, I might say somebody was asking me how to install. So uh, in case if you're using Mac and Linux, I mean Mac and Linux users can install NumPy via pip command. So you just write pip install NumPy and it will be automatically installed. And Windows does not have any package manager analogs to that in Linux or Mac. So you have to download the pre-built Windows installer for NumPy. And I'll provide the link. So since I'll be discussing the part in Idle, so just open this uh, screen. Are you ready, everyone? Okay, fine. I think I'm audible to all, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna uh, uh, start with is that I'm gonna import uh, NumPy, okay? So for that, what, what should I write is, I have to write import, import, NumPy as NP. All of you, please write this down, okay? Now I'm gonna make a one dimensional array uh, using NumPy, that is numerical Python. So I'll be doing NP.array and I'll make a list like one, two, three, four, five, comma, six. This gives me an array. I guess you are able to understand that it's a one dimensional array. So just click enter and you'll see an array is created, which is one dimensional format, okay? So now if I want uh, a bi-dimensional, that is a dimensional uh, dimension two, okay? So bi-dimensional array if I want, and I want that to be printed in the form of a mattress, then what should I write? I should write np dot array open brackets. Okay, since I'm uh, trying to do bi-dimensional, I'll input two lists, so I make uh, two lists over here, one comma two comma three, close to the bracket. I take four, five, six. So this should give me a two dimensional array and it would be printed in the format of matrices, okay? So just click on enter and here you go. You find an array in the form of two cross three mattress. So the next thing, the basic things we're gonna to learn today, okay? So we'll be trying to uh, figure out the shape of an array, how the shape of an array can be uh, uh, known. So just uh, make another array. It's not necessary, but I'm trying to give you a different uh, idea. So make an array, np dot array. I'll make a two dimensional. So what should I do? Yes, I'll make two lists, okay? 
and then incorporate into one. So I'll just take a uh, say two comma three comma four and another one say four comma five comma one. Okay, anything four comma five comma one. Put that in this bracket and over here it should give me a two cross three matrix, right? Now I want to know the shape of this matrix. So I'll write the command for this is a dot shape. Simply write this a dot shape. So it'll give you that it is a two cross three matrix. Okay. Now uh, let's uh, make another mat um, array. Suppose say just to see whether it's going right or not. Just make us one dimensional array. So I'll write two comma three comma six comma seven comma nine comma say three. I just made a simple array, a one dimensional one. And now I want to see that whether this uh, B uh, provides me with the shape or not. Okay, this B dot shape and it gives you six comma nothing. That means it is an array of six elements. So I hope this is coming to you since this is a one dimensional array. It comes with one number followed by a comma inside the pair of first brackets. Okay. So now let's begin with dimension. Now if I want to know the dimensions of this array, so I just type say suppose of a I want to know so a dot endim and it gives me two correct okay now I want to know about dimension of b so I just type b dot n dim and it gives me one so one dimensional numpy array we can reshape it in a way we want to okay so I'll just go to the next point that is reshaping of an array. So I already have an array uh, over here, which is one dimensional. This one is also one dimensional. Okay. So I just take one array. Say suppose a equal to np dot array. Are you uh, typing along with me? If in case you're stuck anywhere, just share your screen with me. I'll be able to tell you your mistakes. Okay. So this is my one dimensional array. Fine. I want to reshape this. So I just write here a dot reshape. Okay. How many elements are, do I have in the above? One, two, three, four, five, six. I make seven, okay. I made a mistake there. Okay, just see, let's see what it comes. Mm. So it's two comma three. I just want to make it two comma three. So it gives me a, since it's not so, I just make this as A equal to np dot array one comma two comma three comma four comma five comma six okay and I want to reshape this a dot reshape into a two cross three matrix so I just mentioned two comma three in first bracket and here you go a one dimensional array is being converted into a two cross three matrix. I can further reshape this into three cross two matrix. Okay, so just try a dot reshape. I just now want to make three comma two. Okay, so it gives me two columns and three rows. So it's a three cross two matrix. So are you following me? 
Okay. Okay. So we have done n uh, dimensions, how to find dimensions, how to make an array, how to make one dimensional, two dimensional array, how to uh, uh, find out the shape of an array and how to reshape an array. Okay. I'm getting my point. Okay. So now further we'll try something more. Now club two or three of these commands into one. Let's try, okay. So I just wanna try one or two of these in clubbing them together and finding out uh, how it comes. 